Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Well, today I'll be teaching an origami gift box. Christmas is coming up in a month, and this is a box I designed. It's from a square. It has a color change, and you just open it like this. You just pull it open, and it's a gift box, and this just slides together. And it's this is, I think, for maybe a 7-inch square, but we'll be using a 6-inch square, which is, this is a duo square, which is a good example, since this is a duo square as well. And I'm going to make the box, I think, green. Actually, no, I think I want a pink box with a green stripe. So whatever color you want the box to be, you want that face down. And so if this was the white side, we'll have that face up. First, you want to divide your square into thirds. And the way I do this, I'll try to show this here, is I kind of fold an S shape. I'm sure you can see that right head on there. And I kind of move the paper around until these two sides line up, and then I pinch it. At this point, it doesn't really matter which color is up, because the now it does once they're done. So now green will be our white side. So now we're going to fold on those thirds. One, third, two thirds. And this is sort of an interesting model, because we fold it thirds this way. Now we're going to divide it into fifths this way. So, how do we do that? Well, first, have a paper so that the third line's creases are going up and down. We're going to fold diagonally in half, but we're only going to pinch right at the third marks, here and there. So when I open this up, you can see the pinches. I'm going to make a crease going from this corner, but we're not going to crease it fully. And we're going to fold it so that the edge lines up on both those creases, and simply pinch at the top right there. And now we're going to take this point corner and bring it to that pinch we made and make us another pinch. That is the one-fifth mark. Now we're going to turn it around and do the same on this side. So again bring this up onto the pinches. Make your pinch uh, a pinch here. Bring this corner to that pinch and make another sharp pinch that's one-fifth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this corner and bring it up to that one-fifth pinch mark. Crease all the way through, make sure it's straight. Unfold, rotate 180 degrees, bring this corner to that pinch. Make sure both sides are, are nice and straight. Crease sharply and unfold. And now we're not going to make these, if you were to fold this to here, that would be another two-fifths, but we don't need to do that. Now we're going to take the sides here, you can see our third mark. Bring this side to there, folding in a sixth. And the same on this side. Just make that crease so you can see it well. So we have it like this. These will be the sides of the box. And this is going to be the bottom of the box, this rectangle, and the ends of the box. Now we're going to just reinforce these and we're going to make a crease going from here outwards of the eye fold. So we're going to bring this crease to here, and the crease will start at this point and go this way. So let's line up the two creases there, and you're only going to pinch crease it to, once you do this, you can see, just to this corner. Unfold, do the same on this side, just like so. Turn it around, and once again on the other two sides. So third one. And a fourth. And now we're going to turn this over so that the this is facing up. And we're going to fold this side in, make a crease going across that's going to connect these two points. So it's a little hard to do on camera, but I will just do the best I can here. Crease it down. And this one I'm going to take again, and now we're going to crease, fold this back up to. So it lines up with the crease underneath, even a little bit, yeah, about to there. And just fold this up again just to make sure. And unfold. Now this side we're going to do similar, we're going to fold it again, same way, connecting these two creases. But we're not going to be folding over again. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually unfold this. And um, we're going to unfold here and here, unfold everything, and we're going to flip it over, 
And this side here with a crease, we don't want to use for this part. We're using this one. And we're simply going to fold this edge about a third of the way to that edge, to that crease. So about a third of the way. And now we're going to flip this over and fold this in on the crease. And then this crease that we had here. And fold these back in. And now we're going to basically make our box. So we're going to fold on these creases. It almost automatically just kind of comes together here at the end. Fold this over. And then we're going to take the other side here and fold it over too. And now that's pretty much it. There's your little box. And then to close it, you'll take this tab and tuck it into other side. And push it in and you have a finished little gift box from one square of paper and um, you can make them any size you want, any color you want and be great for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed making this one. It's not that hard to make. In fact this one will actually fit inside there. So have fun with it using different colors of paper and sizes and make your own gift boxes. Please remember to create, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.